everyone. Welcome to my uh, let's try of um, King Oddball. It's a free title on PS Plus right now. It's basically an Angry Birds clone, so um, it's not really, you know, I thought I'd just show it off anyway. Who doesn't know Angry Birds by now, right? With its umpteenth uh, different versions of it and all this other stuff. So, yeah. So anyway, this isn't going to be too, too long of a video, but anyway, um, so basically you like start out down here and like each of these are like squares are like levels basically, oh sorry, uh, within, you know, the confines here, but the image there to my left isn't a level. All those images there aren't really levels, actually. Um, but they're things that you can send to your friends, like images like, Hey, play this game! But then it will tell you, like, some tad bit, uh, tidbit info after doing so. To, like, if you do a certain thing in the main menu to turn on mustaches, and you play a certain level to hit the mustache or something like that, then, like... You unlock some type of mustache. I don't know, something I can't remember exactly what. But anyway, um, so you go up here, um, continuing up, then it goes over to the right as you're doing all the levels, and each of these areas don't open up per the square. Like, so for instance, there, when I'm coming off from the left here, and when I come over here, and I do these stages, no matter what order I do them in, they will send me down here. And then my icon will appear right here, but and then, like, so one of these squares per map, like here, like per square on the map, is a, um, is a freebie. So anyway, um, so, as you can see, I pretty much completed most of the game already. Uh, I spent most of the day doing this yesterday. Um, but anyway, so I figure, hey, I might as well just show off some of this game. The music can get repetitive. So apparently if I hit no, failed. So apparently if I hit the head of the um of what what well apparently he's the king. If I hit the head of the king, then I can um basically get my uh rock back and it'll be a gold color. And if I make uh anything with a three X or higher, then I get a freebie basically. So let's see. There's many ways that I can carry on about this, basically. See? There we go. No, oh, that was horrible. Wow. was terrible. So you gotta like do these like levels over and over and over again basically just to uh, get a good feel for it. And then if you press triangle you can like restart it yourself instead of like just wasting them. Kind of hoping to hit the tail end of that uh, tank down there right now. There we go. Yeah, that didn't go. Oh well. 
So there's many different, like, you know, sometimes you have to try different things to see what works well. Nice. Nice. that are shielded, I literally do have to destroy the shield. like rock monster why I don't know shit Come on. oh my god that was bad let's pretend that didn't happen See that? I could have had a freebie, but no, this game's like no. <sighs> Just when you want it to roll like one way, someone it doesn't. And if it rolled just the way you wanted it to, just by like just you know. It's an Angry Birds clone. <laughs> Shit. I decided to check this out because it was a small game. And... Nice. Oh. Nice. And... Did I finish God of War? Yeah, that, that game got me depressed, man. That's all I'm gonna say. 
I even, like, went on full, like, depressed mode. Like, I've never done that in my streams. Like, it was pretty sad. Um... Kidding me. I uh, streamed, was it yesterday or two days ago? Yeah, it was two days ago. I actually streamed um, the Disney uh, cartoon or the Disney afternoon collection. Um, I streamed, um, let's see if I can, jeez, that uh, was terrible. Yes! Still enough oomph in the, for the rock to hit it. Sometimes if you lightly touch the enemy, sometimes it can explode, or sometimes it just cracks the enemy like it's not enough oomph. Um... Yeah, I, I streamed uh, DuckTales two days ago. It was great. Almost made me, like, have a tear in my eye. It was wonderful. And you betcha I played that moon level first. It's great. Hey, Twisted. Yay, we can chat again. <laughs> Please, get in there. Oh, that was horrible. Ah, oh, shit, hold up, I really got this shit. Don't me at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was mainly a reply to myself. Jeez, Louise, get out of here. going there, Dave. Nice. Oh, very nice. The boss tank taunts the king. Oh, here we go. Taste of that grape, though. <sighs> yeah, that's a no. Oh, that 
looks awful. No, restart. Let's go. I was kind of thinking that if it fell, it would like land so hard that the whole thing would just go, but nope. Oh shit. Trophy achieved? That was it. I, I killed every tank. That was it. That was the whole game. Have you heard about the secret world? Got it. That was fun. How long did it take me to do those last little bit of levels? Wow, not even 20 minutes. I had much harder levels like in this section and in this section uh, compared to the last two sections of the game. That's weird. Uh, back. So yeah, I played a couple hours of it back on Sunday. Um, how did the emulator run? Was it a little bit laggy? Um, was it perfect? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, was it like a little bit, bit laggy? Was it perfect? What? Oh, son of a... Did you complete the remake or did you just... Just get into it a little bit? show off a little bit of this stuff here. So this is like a hall of diamonds basically. So um let's try the hall of diamonds here. So I got the diamond in that level. I'm not gonna do all 131 of these, especially on stream. I mean, like, I'm not gonna do all of them out alone. Let's try this. There we go. Oh, uh, like nothing too noticeable. Right on.
Two games you're going to be playing on your emulator? That was the... that's the whole diamonds. There's something about the grenades there. I'm gonna try this here quickly. The boom challenge. Vacation, huh? 
So it's like a staycation, but without streaming? Ah, there we go. Let's try 20. Oh, my mother, you gotta be kidding me. It's luck. <laughs> it's probably luck. I'll give it this one a go. Oh my god. Yeah, this one's probably gonna... Yeah, that's not working. Anyway, uh, just out of curiosity, have uh, any of you guys ever watched the um, stream channel Hot Ones? Like, lately I've been watching that. Stream. Hot Ones is just an, a YouTube channel where, um, okay, so, give me a moment. Okay, so Hot Ones is a channel where uh, a guy named Sean Evans, um, spelled S-E-A-N, but uh, I think he still pronounced it as Sean and Seen. Um, anyway, they, like, eat, like, chicken wings with really hot spices, and there's ten of them, and they, he usually eats it with, like, uh, somebody famous, like, either from YouTube, or a rapper, or a chef, or a TV, like, somebody known from, like, uh, TV, or maybe, um, somebody from sports. Oh, I... Hot Ones is fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm. I, I I've been binge watching it for the past week. Uh, cause well, let's just say, I'm not, I don't want to get into specifics in my channel because it's a personal thing. But things haven't been going so well on my end of things. So to have like some sort of like slight distraction or something there that can like. I can watch and like, you know, it's like not even really to help keep my mind off things. It's just so I can like sit and watch something that, um, something though, I, I, I guess it is to, to take my mind off of something, but it's not like it's not something I can permanently take off my mind, um, once you find, like, once you knew, like, what, what it is, but what it is is just, um, like, I need something to distract me, basically, because if I don't have a distraction, then I'll just be like, whatever, and anyway, yeah, but yeah, um, yes, it, it is called First We Feast, yep, 
Yeah, it's hard to hear that. I'll give it in the chat with you when I get more time to stay on. Um. All right, there, Dave. Um, yeah, it's not like like I I could leave it as a bunch of like voice messages there, Dave. Um, actually. Um, let's just say I'm going to the doctor tomorrow, basically. Um, I don't know if anything's gonna really come of it, really, honestly. I just, I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah. Just gonna play without the, uh, the sound for now, because holy crap. Totally missed that. Finally getting this exchange, yeah, right. <sighs> oh shit! Okay, don't fuck up. Fucked up. <laughs> I said don't fuck up. I like, fucked up. Good job, me. No. Okay, I kind of know what I need to do now. Need to break that down. Oh man, that did not go the way I wanted it to do. Oh uh, my. Freak off. Well, shit, I'll take that. Oh my god, if I screw this up. Good. Cause holy crap, I was gonna say if I screw that up, I was gonna be pissed. Uh, I'm like, uh, anyway. Uh, let's go two, I guess. Just do this. lucky like if you like angry birds then this is probably a game that you'll probably want to play as well um because it's it's a nice little time waster uh it was free for um uh, the ps vita and ps4 i'm not sure about ps3 um i th actually i think it was for ps3 as well um i don't know this is an art this this is a fun little game to waste time on there um, oh, somebody's coughing outside. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that sound? That's why it was quiet for a moment, listening for it again. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, do you have any favorite episodes there, uh, Twisted, or... That was terrible. That was terrible. <sighs> you streamed full throttle Sunday. I was having wicked technical issues. Um, yeah, I remember seeing that on my feed. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, but at the time I was doing some other stuff there. Oh my god, I, I just watched that Joey Coco, uh, Coco DS1 here yesterday. That was, that was funny, yeah, like how much that guy was sweating, but honestly, like, I'm overweight. But I'm not, like, overweight like how that guy with, like, the long beard that, uh, um, that was on there. Um, like, I think his name was, like, Action Bronson or something like that or whatever. Like, I'm not, I'm not that big. I, I, I got, like, like, his, his whole... Like, if his body was more, like... 
Like, he's, like, huge. Like, he's really round. Like, me, my body, like, I just got, like, a keg, basically. Like, I have, like, a, a massive gut, basically. Um, like, my arms are, you know, fine. They're not too big. You know, they're... I mean, they're proportionate size. Not, not a whole lot of fat in my arms. My my legs have a little, you know, a bit of fat in it, but, I mean, it's not too, too bad. It's mainly just my stomach. But I will say this, though. I would love to find somebody... Um, like, I, I, can't, I don't have enough money to get a gym membership. Like, they're too fucking expensive. But I would love to find, a, like, a... I was gonna say a workout partner, but it's not really a, like working out. I, I I would love to find a partner that, or just somebody I could go on walks with, and 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 then just like you know, to help me lose weight. Cause I mean, losing weight alone kind of sucks. And people are like, well, why don't you just listen to an MP3 player? But see, the thing is, is this: I'm not like a whole lot of people where they could just blast music and just do whatever. Like, if I was, like, to blast music and clean, th that's different. But the thing is, is that if I was to go on walks every day, I would get tired of my MP3 players so fast. It's not even funny. I, 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 just, I just couldn't, you know, I just couldn't do it. I, I, I have to, like, if I was to listen to music, I have to be in the mood for it. I can't just put on music and just be like, yeah, this is cool, this is great. I mean, because if I just sit there and listen to music, I'm just like, yeah, music, whatever. But if I feel like I want to get in, like, the groove, and I don't mean, like, as in, like, dance, if I just want to, like, listen to music because I want, like, I actually want to hear it, that's when I'll put it on. If I just put it on at random, then it would just be like, yeah, it's noise. <laughs> make me, make me a gym. Could, but I don't know. That would cost quite a bit of money. <laughs> but I know what you meant, though. Ah, you beep. Yeah, that's that's a no. Wrecked. Very nice. Very nice. Makes me music makes me do shit. I should probably turn on music more often. Like, I mean, some people. <laughs> I'll say this, uh, Dave, that's in my chat with me, uh, here, um, he knows, sometimes when I went to, uh, go for trophies and games, um, sometimes I, like, needed that motivation or whatever, so I would put on, like, motivational music, as, as cheesy as that is, um, like, of course, you know, Eye of the Tiger had to be there, but but it was other songs, too. But right offhand, I can't think of, like, what they were. And I would just, like, blast, you know, I would just play that music while just playing the game or whatever, because I would be like, dun, 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 dun. Well, I'm playing the game, and I'm just getting into, you know, just like, you know, I'm getting myself pumped. Like, you got this. You could do this. Karate Kid soundtrack. You're the best around. Meanwhile, insert arson. He, arson's like, hell yeah, best thought ever. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know. I don't really know what's on the Karate Kid soundtrack, honestly. Nah, just household stuff. Like, gallons of water, anything can work. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Uh, I'll play a little bit more while I talk to his. Um, since I actually have people to talk to, I can sit and be like, yeah, okay, cool. Come on, a little bit more. Good. Since I actually have people to talk to, I'll play a little bit more through this. If it, if it wasn't you, for you guys being here, I'd be like, Yeah, okay, well, I'm done this game. I, I shown off these two modes. That's it. Bye. <laughs> but uh, I'll play a bit more. Or I'll play, you know, longer. 
Um, anyway, let's see. Wow. Yeah, that's... That was... That was... That was terrible. <sighs> okay. That's, that's better. Oh my fuck. You gotta be kidding me. That didn't even kill him. I'm, I'm, wow. Just wow. By the way. Bill Conti, who did the score for Karate Kid, also scored Rocky. Right on. I did not know that. Okay, that's better. Mother friggin' A. <sighs> Somebody thinks they're a racer. And then there's more motivation than gonna fly now from Rocky. It makes you want to climb stairs. Climb stairs? For me, it'd be like going downstairs, and that's a. <laughs> Kidding aside, though. Oh, wow, that's weird. I am. Nice. Not too bad. Actually, was a lot easier than I expected. Oh my! Um, so, yeah. Um, I was gonna mention something. What was it there? Shit, I didn't even realize that tank. Oh, that was easy. It's like, how am I gonna get access to that tank? Let's go with Unlucky 13. Come on. Fucking really? Okay, there we go. Nice. I had to choose a motivational song that has a connection to... I thought it said Salty Field, and I'm like, what? And then I got up closer to the t uh, to TV, to the yeah, computer screen, I see Sally Field. I think I would pick Eastbound and Down.
On a scale of 1 to 10 for eastbound and down, I would say that's more of like a 5 for me for like in, like for inspiration. Like it's a good song, but I don't know. It's, it's just I don't know. Something about it. I just it's 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 not a bad song, but I just don't really look at it as inspirational music. But I can see why you do. No, that's a ten. I sometimes play the theme to the Exorcist and pretend demons are chasing me. Oh, well. <laughs> what? We're talking about motivational music, and you're like, oh, I pretend that demons are chasing me. I play the Exorcist theme. <laughs> Um, okay, here's something. Um, this one's gonna be a little, this one's gonna be a little bit off. Um, do you know any jazz music that's, um, motivational? You motivate the shit out of me, get to run away from the demons. <laughs> Or bells, by the way, for the win. I have no idea what the fuck you're saying there, Dave. You know what? Actually, this is this is an interesting question. Do like, I wonder if people can name motivational music, like you know, ones that are up there, like "Eye of the Tiger" or you know, um, or um, the best around, but. Naming the song in different genres of music. Like, is there one for jazz? Is there one for classical? Is there one for country? Is there one for pop? Well, not, what is there one for pop? But, like, can you name one for, like, you know, these ones here? Like, classical uh, music, uh, jazz, country, pop, rock. Um, like, like, classic rock. Or maybe, um... You know, just 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 stuff like that. Not a huge fan of jazz. I'm more of a blues dude. Oh yeah, a lot of them. Like, cause I mean, not a lot of people like seem to talk about blues and jazz, especially with like the younger crowd. It always seems to be like, hey man, let's listen to Hotline Bling, and I'm like, hey man, let's not. <laughs> um. You know, just just different varieties of things, basically. Um, let's see if I can get in there. Wow, that was terrible. <sighs> Blues, Mojo rising by the doors. But the doors, though. Classical, 1812 overtune finale. No idea what that is. ACDC Thunderstruck, that I know. Classic rock, it's endless. Good choice. Blues, uh, BAs for blues. Well, it's called that uh, for a reason. Country standing outside of the fire, Garth Brooks. Um, standing outside the fire. I think I know that song. Not 100% sure. <laughs> Just tipped it. 
That's not good. might have to do something with that bottom um, block. Uh, let me just give that a quick try and see what happens. I'll get to the comments here. No. No, okay, never mind. Uh, you've heard it. You've seen V for Vendetta? No, I haven't. I've not seen uh, V for Vendetta, actually. Ghostbusters themed by Rockwell. Ghostbusters themed by Rockwell? I have no idea what that is. Unless somebody else doing the, the Ghostbusters theme, but... The, I mean, the only Ghostbusters theme that I know is the classic one by, um... What is it? Like, was it Ray Parker Jr. or something like that? I mean, Ray Parker Jr. Okay. I was just gonna say... <laughs> I'm like, Rockwell, I'm like, the classic one I think is by Ray, like I always remember Parker, but I couldn't remember if, it, sometimes I forget the name's Ray, and I think, you know, sometimes I have a hard time remembering Ray, but the only reason why I remember it, it recently was because on the React channel they had um, kids, rea uh, people reacting to like music, and uh, they used a... Um, the Ghostbusters theme, and I think this was within the past couple of weeks anyway. Uh, could have been like a month ago. So that's how it's still kind of fresh in my head. <sighs> no, it was Huey Lewis in the news. Oh, jeez, I'm totally wrong. Totally wrong. I feel like someone's watching me, Rockwell. Yeah, um... <laughs> That was kind of weird. I've never seen a stone hit the uh, king before. Yes. Fuck yes. Don't fuck this up. Don't fuck this up. Got it. Nailed it. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm surprised I had five people watching me play this at one at one point. They probably came in here and they're like, "Oh fuck, it's this game." But I do like, um... Son of a... Okay, that was weird. Anyway, um... Like, um... I feel like someone's watching me. There is a, uh, Gabe Newell version of that. Wow, well, that totally did not go how I wanted it to. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm good. I think I can uh, knock all this out, actually. This, this, this is not bad. I was expecting worse. Yeah, I guess I just forgot to go rip off a of Huey's. I wanted the drug. He actually sued Ray Parker Jr. over it. Really? Shit, I didn't. I, I didn't know that. I did not know that. So, so how is it a rip? Like, how is it a rip off? Like, I don't know the sauna want a new drug. Listen to them sometime back to back. Was it okay? Let me ask this: Was it done in the style where, like, Vanilla Ice is Ice Ice Baby is like uh, the you know? the Queen song, like, it's, like, the same type of, like, music, but, like, slight, uh, slight differences or whatever, but different, like, lyrics? Was it something like that? Or, um, or was it, like, the exact same beats, exact same everything, except different lyrics? Or a slight change of lyrics? I'd do it on stream, but... Music was pretty much the same in the sense it's practically the same beat. But but some artists do that, but I take it they have to get permission to do it. Man, didn't even blow up the tank. in favor of Back to the Future. Huh. That is interesting, though. the grenade levels. That was pretty easy, actually. Grenadier. Uh, gold trophy achieved? I guess. I suppose. <sighs> Let's see. So, it took me... How, how long have I been streaming for? An hour. Okay, so minus tw just under 20 minutes. Um, so it took me a little over four hours to complete the main p 
per portion of the game. But for the side stuff, yeah, levels 1, 158, levels lost, 926. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Holy shit, I had 1-7? Holy fuck, that's cool. The 6, though, I didn't know that. That's pretty neat. Oh, the one rock challenges. I'll give this a try. Try with the first one. Nice. <sighs> yeah, years later he did and, and was countered to like, wait, hold on. What, okay, what's funny is that while he won the lawsuit, there was a clause where he was not supposed to talk about the settlement. Years later, he did, and was countersued by Ray Parker Jr. <laughs> like, shit. You know, here's the thing. I would have been pissed off by Hugh, uh, if I was Huey, I, I, you know, I probably would be pissed too, since, uh, he didn't get, like, approved of, like, taking the same music and then, you know, writing his own lyrics for basically, you know, Ghostbusters, but, but, the thing, this is after, like, if, if I was him and I heard the song and I heard the lyrics... I think I probably would have been like, you know what, actually, I'm still pissed that you did this, but it's so good that I'm not going to sue you, but just don't fucking do it again. That's how I would, well, that's how I would have done it. I would have been like, I'm pissed at you for doing this because you didn't ask and you took music from my, from my, uh, library and you fucking did your own thing, but because your song is so excellent, I'm I'm not even going to take you to court. <laughs> That's how I would have reacted. Um, you know what? Actually, yeah. So it would be like... Music uh, done by uh, Huey Lewis in the news. Unless you'd just say Huey Lewis. I don't know, because I mean... I mean, you gotta credit the whole band, I guess, right? So, Huey Lewis in the news. So, yeah. Uh, let's try 15. See how this works. Oh, Lord. How the fuck are you gonna get... <clears throat> GG. Nope. Press X and it didn't even work. Yeah, there's not going to be enough bounce to, like, come back at the king to get a, you know, another try. So, I think I'm done there. Oh, you fucking serious. So goes. One of my favorite bands, Ed Zeppelin, are very guilty of doing the same that stuff as well. I just recently found out about that. Oh, really? Did anybody ever try taking Led Zeppelin the court, or did they take Led Zeppelin the court, or? That's weird. 
They can keep those one thing there. <laughs> Stairway and a whole lot of love being the two big offenders. Oh, yeah, they did. Wow. Stair the well known song of Stairway to Heaven. Like, a lot of people sit there and go, Yeah, that's a great Led Zeppelin song. I don't think a whole lot of people sit there and say, Yeah, that song was a huge fucking ripoff. <laughs> Usually when people talk about Stairway to Heaven, they're just like, yeah, that's a great song, classic, just awesome. No, it, not, uh, it, uh, it, maybe it seems like not a whole lot of people, you know, like to bring up, like, that song's a rip-off, man. You know? Like, there's some, like, people out there who make music, and their song literally is known for being ripped off, and that person is tarnished forever but yet when it comes to certain bands or certain singers like you know like for instance like Led Zeppelin they could look at it and be like yeah though that's a great song that's a great song but nobody really ever brings up I guess the the ripoff part because maybe they don't want to think of that when they think of such a classic song I love it, but it r ripped the opening riff of another song. <sighs> right. But, um, it seems like, like, I don't know, just like, hearing, um, all different types of, um, music, eventually some people's music will almost play like somebody else's music. And then it, they add their own little thing to it to, like, make it theirs. So that it's not a direct, you know. And that's the thing, though. It's like, sometimes, like, you can think of a song where it's like, I want, I, I like this song, but I want that music to go with my lyrics. Because I think that could be truly awesome. And then they, like, do it or whatever. And... I think that's the pretty much the only main reason why they do it. It's because like some things like got such like a great beat that they it's like some people just, or some company or <clears throat> sorry some um, uh, musicians are just like I don't care if I'm really ripping this person off. I want this music. Uh, even George Harrison did it to an extent. That's the thing. I think a lot of cases are subconscious. Right. But maybe not a lot of people know that. Uh, just recently on the React channel, I remember they were doing, um, uh, I think it was uh, 70s music. It was just a day or two ago. And the last song that they had to guess was uh, Stairway to Heaven. As soon as I heard the lyric, as uh, soon as I heard the, like, the music, I was like, that sounds familiar. And then when I heard something about, like, oh, this lady, or, or, you know, whatever the opening lyrics are, I was like, oh, Stairway to Heaven. And everyone was able to, like, you know, hit that buzzer right quick. Oh, no, it's this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you saw that? Yeah. I, I gave the video a thumbs up for that. Because of that one song. <laughs> Stairway might have been, mm, been the gayest, but they flat out stole a whole lot of love. Right. Oh, it's great, though. Um, kind of don't really want to play this anymore. Though I do want to keep streaming. I don't know. Oh, speaking of videos, I'm in a cartoon now. Twisted. Really? Are you sure you're not considering your life is as a cartoon? Because, I mean, there's a bit of a difference. No, I'm just kidding, man. 
You're in a cartoon? What? Please, tell me more. And does it involve chairs? Oh, you lend your voice to it. Are you allowed to speak about it? Or do you have to keep it hush? You know what I mean? Because that stuff, you know... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, like, some people, you know, may, may be like, Ugh, like, you're not supposed to talk about this kind of stuff. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> for a moment there, I thought maybe somebody reached out to you from your channel by seeing your stream going, Hey, I like your voice. Would you do some lines for us or whatever? <laughs> Right on. Cool, I always wanted to do voiceover work. Yeah, that that would be pretty cool. You know, some people may not be able to do, like, voices, but sometimes the person's original voice is good enough that they want to use it for a character in, like, a cartoon or a game or whatever, and I think that's pretty cool. But it just seems like these days everybody just wants somebody who can do, like... A wide range of voices and just be like okay you can do like over 50 plus voices I like you you're hired but and then there's some other people who are like oh like I like your voice it's a good voice but the thing this is I don't want to hire you because you can't really voice act and it's like but if you like my voice and you want to use it for the game can you just hire me for just this one time and then that's it I don't understand. Right. Well, that's good twisted, though. A southern accent kills it for me, though. Right. It's too bad that some people can't just be like, hey, this is how it's, like, you know, like, you, you can't really voice act, but we'll take and use your voice because we like your voice or whatever, and it fits this character. Like, I see your voice as this character, and, and you don't even have to, act, like, act it out. Like, that's the best thing about it. <sighs> God damn. Um, oh my god. She's like, who's this? She's like, who the hell's in that chat? Uh, I take it that's your wife. Said your wife saying that? And why is she saying that? I'm kind of very curious now. No purse. No, it's not. Okay, who who's she? <laughs> Friends in Australia. I was I was uh, expecting somebody from your uh, stream. Sorry, let me rephrase that. I was expecting you to say someone who goes to your stream. Then I would have been like, oh, okay. Do I know them? Is that pronounced Monet? OBM chick. Right on. <laughs> OBM chick. Chicken nuggets. Been a while since I've seen her on. I think actually, now that I think about it, every time I I um, see LBM chick's name, I think of her sister because <clears throat> I know her and I'm friends with her. Um. 
Moni. Okay. I was gonna say Moni, but then I thought, mm, maybe it's not. Maybe it's Monet. But that's cool, Moni. Can you imagine having a name like that and people are like, hey, give me some of that Moni. And I'm like, really? Please shut up. <laughs> that would be my that would be my response there if I was her, if somebody said something like that to me. Uh, I, I've had people say things uh, to me about my last name. So uh, I just, you know, I just shook my head and I'm like, whatever. Oh, and I was in party chat when they were, when I threw voices at them. Oh, well. What was that today, or is this another time you're talking about? Also, um, I think I might get into another game. I'm not entirely sure. So if you guys just want to, you know, hang tight and just stick around, I'll start up another game in another stream here uh, within just a few minutes. Uh, I just need to... Uh, take a quick bathroom break. It was, I think it was like a week ago. Right on. Okay, give me a few minutes. Just, just look out for my next stream. I do want to continue talking to you guys. I have to head off, man. I have a meeting. I have to attend. Ah, uh, okay. Dave, um, I'll send you the, um... I'll send you, like, you know, something that's going on my end there via voice messages on PS4. So, um, so just, you know, just look, look out for that, basically. So, anyway. Alright, um, well, this has been my Let's Try of King Oddball. Um, I completed the end of it. Um, didn't think I'd get it that fast. There were some, like, levels I was on, like, last night for over a half hour. Or not a half hour, maybe 20 minutes a half hour. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch up with you later. You guys have a good evening. Take care. All right, thanks uh, for popping in, Dave. Too bad it wasn't during the DuckTales stream. Because nostalgia and such. But, you know, whatever. This is good. This is good as any. All right. And Twisted, I will be back. So... Give me about five minutes. No late. No, no, not much later, unless something comes up there. But I will be streaming very shortly. Um, another stream or title. So, all right. Um, I'll see you all for my next video.